We get sap on the trip. Hi guys, so welcome to Charge Onto's YouTube channel. This is a video coming from the sunny Costa del Sorry. It's a rare occasion, it's actually bright and sunny here, so making the most of it, we're outdoors in my glorious garden. Uh, this is a video on programming and using your logbook. Uh, reasons why to use it, how I use it, and the purpose for it. So in terms of logbooks, every gym session I've done since I competed at Miami Pro 18 months ago, I have wrote down numbers, sets, weights, everything. So article one, the first logbook. So every, this is a big one, A4, every page in here is a workout. Okay, so reason to use logbooks. So if you're looking to try and build muscle, you know exactly where you are at in terms of strength levels. So you know what you lifted before and what you need to beat this time. So if you're trying to push your weight up, trying to get stronger, you've got a goal every session to try and beat. To give you an example, this was from 18 months ago. I've put on quite a lot of muscle mass since then, since I started doing this. So here, for example, first exercise I look at, barbell shrug, I did that yesterday. So here I did 140 for 15 reps on the 31st of October, that was 2016. Uh, yesterday I did 240 for 15 reps, so that's 90 kilos difference for the same amount of reps. So there's no way your body's not gonna grow muscle tissue from that sort of strength increase, so that gives you an idea in terms of, for yourself you need some reward in terms of looking back to see you are making progress. For me, I, I beat myself up, I'm not progressing quickly enough, but I look at the numbers here and stuff, like another one deadlifted 180 for 12, I could do 250 for 10 now, like, that's a big, big difference in terms of strength levels and also muscle mass. So in terms of improving strength, this will make a big difference. When it comes to dieting, it also is critical. So at the moment I'm dieting pretty savagely. My strength levels are improving in some areas and some of the bigger compound lifts are staying about the same, um, which in terms of the fact that I'm seven kilos lighter than I was two months ago, is awesome. So that means my muscle mass has stayed up here, my body fat's come down, I'm not losing any muscle tissue as my strength levels are still the same as it was before. So again, it gives you a goal not to push you out when you're tired. You know where the bar is, this is what you've got to go in, this is what you've got to do, and that will keep the, the muscle tissue protected and make sure you're not basically becoming a skinny, skinny little dweeb and wussing out all the time. So for dieting, it's critical for building mass, it's critical. Uh, how I use logbook, so this is my new one, which is slightly smaller. It's a bit convenient, the A4 one was a bit much. Uh, I will write down the workout, um, the gym I'm training at, because obviously various equipment wise, my body weight on the day, the date, um, and then like, it's easy for me to look back. So even if I look back at the date, I can see roughly what my weight was, any comments in terms of how I'm feeling. I'll put every exercise down, uh, how many reps I've done, the weight. Sometimes if I put like, if I get a partial or any force reps or anything like that. So if you really want to revolutionize your training, I would suggest anyone who's serious, this will change your training, improve your physique, keep your diet, it'll make sure you keep your muscle tissue, it'll keep you pushing yourself. So please get yourself a logbook. Any questions on this topic at all, please email me, comment below, like the video and subscribe to the channel. More educational content coming up. We get sap on the trunk.